But so businessman thinking of important things from wherever, we think about okay, fine. If I bring in these plasma TVs now, and they used to cost five hundred thousand, now they're going to be costing eight hundred thousand because even the interest or the, the tariff rates are increasing, the import duties are increasing, and I'm not going to get off takers. The problem with Nigeria, as I must say to a large extent, is not just the corruption, uh, but also the immodesty. Nigeria is where you're coming from in the old world, and you won't even find a seat in business class or first class. I've had a friend coming all the way from Tokyo, and from Tokyo to London, from London to Nigeria, and so on. You know, it was only that route that he couldn't upgrade himself from, from economy to business class, even though he had all the, all the tired miles and all that. And business he texted class. me a white guy. Yeah, I said, look, man, yours is a peculiar country. <laughs> you know, and were we not thinking at that time? It's not only business, it's not only government people that fly, fly business class or, or, or first class. But of course, yes, we admit that a lot of them do that. We want to actually advocate to our politicians too. If you say you're, we're going into another austerity uh, time, um, you know, can you reduce your convoys as well? From 40? We want to see that visibly on the streets. Otherwise, like it happened in 1983, which is 31 years ago, when this same austerity was declared in 1982 under the Shagari government. By the time the Buhari government took over in 1983, the, 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 this thing was circulating now. They went to Ibadan, and in front of Akinoe's house, he was going to have a party at this Akinoe. He had nine cars tied. And of course, he had champagne bottles, which were, you know, all the way branded from France. And these were people who declared austerity. So in the same vein, we don't want to have that situation happening. We need that leadership from the politicians across the board, not only the president, the governors, everybody. We can't, we see, the Bible says, shall we continue in sin and expect the, uh, you know, the grace to abound? It won't, it won't oh. abound. That, uh, that is yeah. expected. <laughs> That's the truth of it. But a number of people are sending uh, messages to us on Twitter. Let me ask you a few of them. Uh, fiscal policies like forex discipline and ban on importation of locally produced goods are better than devaluation. This is doing customer. What do you say? No, no, no. For fiscal policy, uh, forex is not fiscal, it's monetary. For it's monetary, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's talking about ban on what? Ban on importation of locally produced. Yeah, things that was yes. See, so when we have you see, well, like yes, I said yeah. before, you know, there's an international dimension to that. Will the government actually have that strength to wake up one day and say, okay, I mean, you just interviewed a former U.S. ambassador here, you know. So, uh, will, they, will we say, okay, look, we want to ban so and so and so and so. It's not easy for them to do, but actually that should be the final point and that should be our saving days. That should be where we're going to, at least for a time, to say, okay, look. So now the thing is, is the government don't want to come out, you don't want to run a rogue government where in international community they'll point to you and they'll do that guys that ban things that we say they shouldn't ban. But you see, you must be very strategic and patriotic. There has to be ways of actually slowing down the importation of many things. Slow it down. Silently ban them if you can. Find ways around that. In, 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 you know, in 1980s, when we devalued the, 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 the Naira, it was in the days of SAP. And they said, hey, when you devalue, export is going to be so. Now, that's another thing I must quickly point out. Nigerians are very quick to think about how much they can export to get dollars. That may, we, we also don't have confidence in our own currency. So the issue is not to devalue so that we can export and get the dollars in. The issue is to devalue so that we can slow down our importation and look inwards and produce for ourselves 170 That's million yes. what we need. So not only the food, the furniture, the everything we need, we should be able to. And that is, if we are lucky to swing this, those are a whole new vista of, of, of employment, a whole new vista of productivity. It's not about, because in those days, in the, in the 80s, we found a lot of people going into teak wood export. Of course, a lot of people decided to do cocoa and all those kind of things. And do you know what happened to them? When they would send those goods abroad, when they get under what they call phytosanitary conditions, when they put those things through phytosanitary conditions and also measurements and so on, they pay them 30, 40% of what they sent. And a lot of people went into export and also ran out of export you know, with a lot of loans okay. on their necks. Okay, well, we will need to begin to wrap up. Let me ask you this final question, and this one is from uh, Shitu. He said, for me, we need thinkers in government, not all these professional economists that practices theoretical economics. Uh, this it, it, sounds yeah. almost like what uh, 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 Chief Obasanjo, the former president, was saying when he was saying, you don't need um, 
any special thoughts or any special skills in understanding when your economy is not adding up. So is it the, the specialist and the economist? We don't, need the, the, we don't need a specialist. We need, we need patriotic people. And we need thinkers everywhere, not only in government. We need thinkers everywhere. Um, we're we're going to have to think our ways out of the problem where we are right now. Mm. Okay, Nigerians also need to think. Are we ready to, to, to bear the cap? Are we ready to, to do the needful? So not only in government, but all across the board, we need thinkers. Uh, we don't need people who come and rehash off the shelf policies, oh, this is the IMF said we should do this. I always make that distinction. In 2008, 2009, when the world went into a global financial crisis and what they call the, you know, the, the Great Recession, mm -hmm. the policies adopted by the European countries and America were the exact opposite of what they were recommended to us in 1986. Look at that, the value currency, the protected our currency, the dollar is gaining across the board now against almost every currency. Rather than, rather than privatized companies, they nationalize companies, both car manufacturers and banks. Okay? Rather than you, know, rather than you. So everything they did was exactly what, but well, like I said before, you're going to have to do your risk management yourself. Nobody's going to help you do your risk management. Okay. Yeah. All right. so, but the Nigerians must be sure that we are ready, okay, to, to take the pinch. So when will you be ready? Huh? When would we be ready? And when we get pushed to the corner. And uh, we're almost, 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 almost there. Yeah, exactly. So we have to be ready. See, well, I mean, this is another political thing going on. What is the blueprint that the politicians are giving us? None. Is it just about, oh, uh, it's, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's still making for such a good cook rights for people. Or, yes. uh, you know, uh, 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 it's the turn of my ethnic group or my religion and all that kind of stuff. If we agree, then we deserve what we get. Okay. Uh, well, we are. Uh, Chapter Group CEO, Global Analytics Consulting, UK, and also a top economist. Thank you very much for being on the Hello. show this morning. Well, we've been talking Thank about this much, key man. issue of uh, the Nigerian economic challenges and what we're supposed to do, a number of solutions preferred. The conversation is not ending here, so please do send us your thoughts and share your opinions as well and comments. Send it to at Kade Akintemi, at Alera underscore Edu, at Sunrise CTV. You can send us emails as well. If we're not able to take it here, we'll find other means of taking those thoughts and sharing them with others. Thank you very much. Sunrise is not going away. We'll take a short break now. When we come back, another conversation awaits you. Join us again.